Over the past 13 years, fans coming to the Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl have taken over the streets of Nashville, sporting their team colors, making this one of the most popular bowl destinations in the country. And really, the bowl game has become Nashville's holiday tradition, bringing in millions to the local economy, as well as bringing in millions of viewers each year on ESPN. And this year should be no different. We've got two teams that have never played in this bowl and they've never played against each other. Mississippi State takes on Wake Forest December 30th at LP Field kickoff set for 540. And these two teams took two different paths to get here. Jim Grobe's Demon Deacons started hot. Dan Mullen's Bulldogs had to survive the SEC. Both of them, though, make it to the Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl. Welcome to this year's Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl Preview Show. I'm Corey Curtis. And I'm Don Davenport. Today we're going to take a look at the two teams in this year's matchup. We'll also talk about some charitable components. And you'll see how it's not just football that's giving back to the residents here in Middle Tennessee. Plus, we'll take a look back at some of the games that have been played here before in Nashville, including last year's thriller between North Carolina and Tennessee that ended with a controversial finish. It was the second highest rated non-BCS game on television, and it was the most well-attended bowl game in Nashville history. And you'll see why here in Music City, football takes center stage. <laughs> The Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl is enjoying its 14th year as one of the most fan-friendly and exciting bowls in college football. The bowl has evolved with the SEC representative playing teams from the Big East, the Big Ten, and today teams from the ACC. Past games have featured such stars as Eli Manning, NFL MVP Sean Alexander, former Tennessee Titan Keith Bullock, and many more. The Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl has turned into more than just a game. It has turned the week between Christmas and New Year's into one of the busiest for tourism in Nashville. The bowl has helped support many local charities and has generated more than $185 million in economic impact for the local communities. Last year's game was an instant classic as the Tennessee Volunteers took on the North Carolina Tar Heels. The game was close the entire contest as Tennessee scored down the stretch to take the lead. North Carolina, led by quarterback T.J. Yates, charged back down the field only to appear to come up short as the game clock expired. But a penalty before the clock expired gave North Carolina an opportunity to kick the game-tying field goal that sent the game into overtime. In the first overtime, North Carolina scored first, but the Vols answered quickly with a touchdown of their own. In the second overtime, North Carolina intercepted the Volunteers and then kicked a game-winning field goal, taking the 13th Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl 30-27. It was an amazing finish and one they'll talk about for a long time in the volunteer state. That's for sure. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll talk more about this year's Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl.